But for now, let's move on. Well, barely a week after the slaughter of 76 CRPF Jawans in Dantewada, we travel to a village near Chintalnad where the massacre took place. At least 1,200 tribal families have fled their homes, fearing police interrogation. For them, it's a lose-lose situation. The police will interrogate them, but if they give out any information, the Naxals will kill them. Five days after the Dantewada massacre, security forces resuming area domination operations in the same area. That's exactly what the 76 slain Jawans were doing. But now it's being done by commandos who have been especially trained in anti naxal operations. Barely a kilometre and a half from Chintalnad, where the massacre took place, is Mukram village. What used to be home to nearly 1,200 tribals is now deserted. Nearly every house locked, all villagers have fled, perhaps fearing that the police will question them and the Maoists will kill them if they give away any information. The eerie silence in the village, occasionally broken by these animals. This is a chicken coop which also doubled up as a pigsty. Clearly, before leaving the village, they kept this open so that the hens and the pigs won't die of hunger and thirst. The villagers didn't have the time to even pick up their belongings. People in the adjoining village tell us they left just after Tuesday's massacre. Tribals form the majority of the Maoist cadre, which is why perhaps they are the natural suspect for the police in this region. Not all tribals are Maoist supporters, but it's unlikely that the 1200 odd tribals who have fled will return any time soon. With Shudhi Ranjan Sen in Mukram village of Dantewada, Mukbil Emmer for NDTV.